picking up a fight with you. It's hard to break into you. You are adorable and desirable for them and you are trying to find balance because you don't know what's the result, what the consequences. That's why they are fighting and there is a distance between both of you because of your cards. Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel Love Stories. Today I'm going to do your online psychic love reading for the month of June. Choose the special. Keep in mind that these readings are general. This may be resonate with you or maybe not resonate with each and every one of you. If it resonates with you, take guidance from these readings. And if it not resonate with you, you can simply ignore it. Okay, we'll go. Let's get started. Okay. What are the Virgo person's feeling, thinking, and intentions towards Virgo? What are the Virgo person's feeling, thinking, and intentions towards Virgo? What are the Virgo person's feeling, thinking, and intentions towards Virgo? And we are having here Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. What are the Virgos feeling, thinking and intentions toward this person? What are the Virgos feeling, thinking and intentions toward this person? And we are having here Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Sword, Temperance, Nine of Wands. What are the mutual energies? What are the mutual energies? And we are having here Six of Wands and Two of Cups. These are your cards and sign that could relate it to your person, Virgo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Two of Cups, Seven of Cups, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with this King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Sagittarius with this Temperance, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Eight of Sword, Five of Sword, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. This person is trying to prove their point right on you they are trying to prove you wrong picking up a fight with you they just want to win arguing with you a conversation that is converted into argument disagreement between both of you fight and conflict between both of you and this person is know that it's hard to change your mind no matter how much they argue with you no matter no matter how much they you know try to make you feel what they want you to make you feel they can't they want you to feel something they want you to experience that they want you to feel them how they feel towards you maybe that kind of things they want you to do so it's for them it's hard to change your mind you are totally stick with your point of view and with your mindset you are not changing it's hard to step into you it's hard to break into you there is healthy boundaries around you and that's why this person is confused where they are going wrong where they are doing wrong this person is confused a lot of confusion in this person's mind illusions what you want that kind of confusion in this person's mind a lot of uh, options in front of them and they don't know what to they choose illusions in their mind but one thing they know that they totally attract towards you, desire dear for you, desires for you, they are having that desire for you, you are adorable and desirable for them and plus it's hard to change your mind, it's hard to change what you, you know, set on that, it's hard to change you, hard to step into you, this person is confused and arguing with you and there is some kind of disagreement between both of you and this person feel that desires and feelings and attraction towards you when they find you totally desirable and totally an intelligent person with a lot of attraction in you Virgo and you are waiting for something you are waiting for something you think you do everything that possibly you can do and now you are waiting for fruitful result and also you are trying to cope up with this person it's not like that you are not trying you are trying to cope up with the, with this person you are trying to make peace with this person you are trying to find balance in your life you want balance in your life in actual like actually you want balance and you are balancing your life you think balance is everything and but still there is some kind of stuckness in your mind you are stuck on the same point over and over again you want to do something you want to go somewhere but you are stuck in your brain in your mind you think it's maybe it's not that good for you you are pressurized because you want something in 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 front of you and but you can't do that 
because you don't know what is the result, what the consequences. You are stuck in your brain and you're listening people. Sometimes you're listening people, and maybe it's not good for you, but it's somehow you are listening a people opinion because you want to know if it's good for you or not. What the consequences? Maybe it's not good for you. You don't have to do that, but you know. But you stuck right now and. You already hurt. Nine of Wands is about when you do that once and you get hurt. And again doing that, it's, it makes sense why you are stuck. Because you already hurt that, hurt by, back then. And you are a tired warrior. You are protecting your heart. And all you need to do is protect your heart. So, you are already hurt trauma, past trauma in you. So, there is some kind of you experience this. Uh, that experience is not that good. And about this person feel like that dignity in you, pride in you, victory in you. You are a victorious, you are a famous favorite person. The community, no matter little amount of people know about you, but they a good name, a good fame. They adore you, like you. And this person, you believe in that soulmate connection. A string, a bound, a reunion, a reconciliation, something about that, something about these things in your mind right now. Let's see what else we have for you, Virgo. What else we have for Virgo? And what's the outcome for Virgo? And we are having here Five of Cups, Ace of Sword, Four of Pentacles. This person is grieving over past. Some kind of nostalgia in you or maybe they get a feel from you. You are grieving over past because your these cards are telling us clearly we can see this person get a feel from you. You are still in, in your past. You are living in your past, waiting for something, trying to find balance, stuck in your brain, already hurt past trauma. So the person get a feel from you. You are stuck in your past, nostalgia in you. You are grieving over past. You lost that and you are grieving over that. And you want you getting a from feel from this person, this person want clarity. They want you to give them clarity. That's why they are fighting and they are confused about you and your true intentions and about your decisions. But you are totally you are not changing, you are not accepting, you are stable on your ground, you are protected and uh, they want clarity. You can feel that this person wants clarity from you, the answer, what you want. And in result, right now, in upcoming days, you guys are not talking to each other. Closed off. You are protecting your heart here. And this person is just want answers. Right now, maybe it's not the right time to give answers. So, both closed off. You are not talking to each other. Let's see what else we have for you. Virgo, what else we have for Virgo? And we are having here the Hermit, Page of Wands, and Knight of Cups. This person feel like that you are distancing yourself from them. There is a distance between both of you because of your cards. This person get a feel from you. You are distancing yourself. You are in isolation. You are not talking to this person as I told you you guys are not talking and also there is a discuss distance between both of you you want to be alone and you getting a feel from this person what if this person find a new love Virgo what if this person find new love or maybe another possibility you will find something a huge passion in your life and you don't know what should you do about that Stoning cards maybe you get something bigger than you and you are just like what should i do with this passion new love offer maybe for you and with this knight of cups is about when you are finally after this silent treatment you are being polite and nice to each other maybe your person is polite towards you romantic feelings they got to, for you maybe you are polite towards them romantic feelings in you and there is some kind of you know uh, the peace loving romantic pickup lines between both of you poetic lines between both of you in upcoming days with this knight of cups 
Let's see what your angel want to add in this reading. I bring you a message from your descended loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Well, this is for someone. Okay, let's see what advice messages. Love yourself. Cure your heart. Have faith. Shine in your inner light. Virgo. These are your advice messages in the end. And the summary of your reading is this person is arguing with you. But it's hard to change your mind. That's why this person is confused, but desire is there for you. You invest somewhere, something, and you are waiting for fruitful results. And you are finding balance in your life as well. And this person is just like, get a feel from you, you are still in your past. And you that's why you are distancing yourself. You feel this person want clarity from you, or what if they find new love? And there is a polite romantic conversation between both of you in upcoming days these are few summaries of your readings hope this helpful for you thank you god bless you bye